Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. It is really hard to do a video on these research papers, especially for me because I try to keep these videos as simple as possible, especially from the lens of non-machine learning and non-AI viewers because I am also one of them. I don't have a PhD in AI or in machine learning and I don't intend to get one. But I am a firm believer and that you don't really need PhD to really understand a subject. But if you go through these papers, normally they are riddled with a lot of verbosity, mathematical equations and a lot of mumbo jumbo, which really is not something people want to see in the videos. So that is why what I'm going to do from now on is that whenever there is a video on a research paper, I'm going to explain it in a very quick short way, in very, very simple words, without going into the nitty gritty of any probabilities, any statistical analysis, without compromising the spirit of the paper, of course. So this paper, Chain of Draft, seems quite interesting. And the reason why it seems so interesting is that it has practical value and I will show it to you in a while with an example. So first, let's try to do, understand what exactly is this chain of draft. So chain of draft is a new way to make LLMs think and reason more efficiently. Instead of generating a long step-by-step -step explanation, Chain of Draft encourages LLMs to produce concise and dense intermediate outputs. This approach focuses on the essential insights without unnecessary elaboration. This long and long winded responses primarily are from Chain of Thought, which we have seen a lot in the recent days, especially in the context of Deep Sea Car 1 model. So what is the difference between this chain of draft or COD and chain of thought, which is COT? Chain of thought is an existing approach that involves breaking down complex problems into verbose step-by-step -step processes. This approach can be time consuming, costly, and uses a lot of tokens, which is unit of text, of course. Whereas chain of draft is a more minimalist approach that aims to reduce verbosity and enhance efficiency. Chain of draft achieves similar or better accuracy than chain of thought while using significantly fewer tokens, only 7.6% of the tokens used by chain of thought to be exact. And that is huge. If you have seen my videos on Deep Sea Carbon, you might have seen me um, just looking at that chain of thought. That is mesmerizing. That is quite fascinating. No doubt about that. But then... Uh, novelty wears off and then down the road when you look at your bill where you have been charged a lot just because model is doing thinking and reasoning and chain of thought um, you just reach out for your wallet because um, early on it is fine but then you know I don't want I don't think that people and companies are willing to spend money on these long winded answers and thinking so maybe down the road, we would see that companies would just stop showing that to the people and they would just do it behind the scene. But in any case, I don't think so. Anyone wants to pay for uh, the model for its thinking. So that is where this chain of draft is trying to help out. It reduces latency and interest time, making it more suitable for real time applications. It has fewer tokens, so of course cost goes down and it maintains accuracy while using fewer resources. But I'm not sure if it really compromises on any sort of accuracy or not and precision. I don't see any test in that regard. So that is something uh, which still needs to be explored. So let me show you an example. So you see at the top we have something with chain of draft where we have a question and answer, and then downward we have chain of thought. So if you look at the uh, question, the question was, Jason had 20 lollipops. He gave Danny some lollipops. Now Jason has 12 lo lollipops. How many lollipops did Jason give to Danny? And chain of draft has given a very concise answer, very short to the point, and uh, that is why the response time jump uh, the response jumps straight to the calculation without explaining the thought process and the response assumes the reader understands the underlying math and reasoning whereas chain of thought um, just goes on and on and on it is quite long and elaborate with multiple sentences explaining each step 
and it breaks down the problem into smaller manageable steps and it uh, clearly explains the thought process and calculations so look i'm not saying a chain of thought is bad what i'm saying is that for the business value i think chain of draft makes more sense or maybe we could just strike a balance between these two we should have some sort of hyper parameter through which we could control this chain maybe um, that okay do 50 percent of it or we could just dynamically adjust it or we could turn it on and turn it off just like we saw with one of the recent model from ibm so hopefully it was uh, it makes sense let me know what you think about it before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGen Pot. iGen Pot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in videos description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching